Oh my goodness, I feel like I'm having a panic attack. All this accounting research, and I don't even know where to begin. <sighs> I'm calling Emily. Hey, quick question for you. What now? Well, I have this assignment, but I can't find the research I need for it. I'm sure there's something out there, I just don't know where to begin. Basically, the partner has a meeting with a client next week regarding auditor rotation, and he needs some information for it. He mentioned something about an article that said rotating isn't helpful, um, but he wants more details before he meets with the client. I really need to track down this article um, and probably do some other background research as well. Well, did you look at that database? What database? Is this database that the auditing section of the American Accounting Association put together? It makes research accessible to practitioners like us. Um, I thought those accounting academics only worked for nine months out of the year and then had a winter break and a spring break. But they actually have some pretty interesting research that they've done. I'm pretty sure you'd be able to find your answer there. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember now. Okay, I'm heading your way. I'm a practitioner and a senior manager at that. I don't care about accounting research. I mean, what does that even mean? All I really know is research means more school, and who wants that? What else could you possibly have to know about accounting besides debit means left, credit means right? It doesn't take an Einstein to figure that out. Academics spend all their time in the ivory tower. What could they possibly know about auditor rotation? This kind of accounting research definitely wasn't required for the CPA exam. Seriously? I've told her about it before, and if she would just pay attention, she know, she would know what I'm talking about. I can't believe she's coming over again. She always brings me her research questions. I guess that's probably because I just got out of school. She can tick and tie with the best of them and fit the phone book faster than anybody I've ever seen. Why is it useful? Well, they've got all the research articles summarized into topics that make sense for practitioners like us. I mean, for people, you know, that work year round who don't spend their whole day with their nose in the books. You know what they say, those who can't do teach. I hope this doesn't take too long. It's nine o'clock and we gotta decide what we're gonna do for lunch today. I'm kinda sick of all these sandwich shops that we have around here. Hey. Okay, well, show me this database you've been talking about. I feel like I would know about it if it was really that great. Can you see the screen all right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is go to auditingresearchsummaries.org. So they've got this A list of journals that they've got. It's all the top research journals. A list? Does that mean their accounting equation balanced or something? Yeah, I hope they passed intro. Anyway, they've got it all organized into a framework by topics that make sense to people like us. So you said your question was on auditor rotation, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so here I'm going to click on independence and ethics. And then under that, I'm going to click on audit firm rotation. So you can see here that there's a lot of articles that you can browse through and you can see all the titles and a brief summary. Or you can also go back to the home page or just click right here at the top and do a search. So I'm going to do that. So let's go there and I'll type in auditor rotation and you can see all the results. Oh, look at this one. It talks about auditor rotation and professional skepticism. You said that was part of it too, right? Yes. So this one looks really good since it talks about the auditor's frame of mind. Oh, and check this one out. See, like you can see at the top, like all the different tags that they've given it. How do you know about all this stuff? I pay attention to my social media. They're on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Who has time for all of that? I do actually have work to do, you know. Oh, come on. Here's what the article summary looks like. It's the title of the article and then all the keywords, which helps us search for this stuff. Oh, look, here are the practical implications. Who knew this academic stuff is actually relevant for what we do in real world accounting? Check this out. They tell you why they did the study and get to look at policy implications before the policy is passed. This is pretty cool. Yeah, it's so interesting to see how they did the study. I do get a little lost with all the stats and regression models, but it's super cool when they do the experiments. Those are definitely my favorite. So how does this thing work anyway? Well, my understanding is that once an article is published, it's summarized for the ARS database, and then they'll post a link on social media for the new articles. The link will take you to the summary page just like this. Yeah, I don't really know how I'm going to build that time. I guess that's one nice thing about being in academia. You don't actually have to track your time. Dude, I hope she gets on social media and follows the database. They're on three sites, so it shouldn't be a problem knowing what's going on. 
Ooh, it's Throwback Thursday. I'll have to go see what old paper they posted a link to today. Wow, this is so easy. I can't believe all I have to do is go to my Facebook account, search for the AAA Auditing Section Research Summary Database, and then I have access to all these research summaries. Let's be honest, who doesn't already have Facebook pulled up at work anyway? And LinkedIn too? Wow, this is fantastic. All I have to do is search for the Auditing Section Research Summary Database, and there it is. I've gotta get a Twitter account ASAP. Oh, it's already 11 o'clock. Thank goodness it's lunchtime. All this research makes me hungry. I'll have to finish looking at the social media stuff later. So I already have a Facebook and LinkedIn account, but I really want those Throwback Thursday tweets too. Looks like I need to start a Twitter account. Okay, so if I go to Twitter, type my name and email address, create a username and password, type in my phone number, and click sign up, then I have to wait for Twitter to text me. Okay. I just received the confirmation text, so now I can go back into Twitter and search for audit research. Wow, there it is. And that was so fast. Man, my research project last week would have been so much easier if I had known about this database. Wow, you pulled a lot of research there. Is that all stuff that you're planning to go through with the client? Yeah, I guess I got a little carried away. It was just so easy to find. Yeah, it's true. I'll catch you later.